You know what time it is. It's Monday, make Monday. 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 It's Make Money Mondays with Sean V. Hey everybody, this is Sean V. Bradley, CEO of Dealer Synergy, and you know what time it is. It's Make Money Mondays. What time is it? I said it's Make Money Mondays. Let's make that money. Hey everybody, I'm Karen Bradley. Nope, I'm not Sean, but I am still a Bradley. I'm the president of Dealer Synergy, and this is my first Make Money Mondays, and I'm so honored to be here. So the first thing I wanna to talk to you about is the art of continuous improvement. Continuous education, you need to make time for it. It is so important. You need to continue learning, learning, and learning some more. So you don't have time? I don't have much time either. I am the mother of four kids. I own multiple companies. I need to find time to also take care of myself, working out. So if you're like me and you don't have a lot of time, you have to make time. It is that important. What I do is I have a 30 minute drive to and from work every single day. I also run errands. I drive the kids to you know, the movies, to sports activities, to just various things. And that is when I self-educate. I make sure to throw on an audio book every single time I'm in the car. I've even given up listening to music. Yes, for those of you who know me, you know that I've been in the music industry for quite a while and I'm very fond of music and I've given up music to be able to take the time to self-educate. Most recently, I've been into the book Good to Great by Jim Collins. I've actually read it four times or listened to it four times, right? In my car, because I just think that the principles in that book are so powerful. Obviously, it's a really long book, so I can't go over everything that I've learned with you, but if I had to pick one thing to share with you, it would definitely be the whole concept of the bus. You need to think of your dealership as not a dealership, but as a bus, as a moving bus. You are moving towards goals. You are moving towards things that you want to achieve. So who's in the bus? Obviously, the bus driver is going to be your leader. Do you have the right leader in place? Is the right person moving your bus along? What about the people on the bus in general? Are they the right people? If they are not the right people, they need to get off the bus. If they are the right people, are they in the right seats? Are you maximizing their strengths or are they just in seats because you need to fill those roles? So you can have the right people on the bus, get the wrong people off the bus, and even sometimes we might have the right people, we just don't have them in the right seats. So what happens when you have the wrong people on the bus? Well, you start to make up rules. You start to put rules and policies and procedures into place that punish the wrong people. But guess what? You're punishing the right people too. So then what happens? The right people get sick of it and they get off the bus. So then what happens? You have more of the wrong people on the bus. You know what you have to worry about when you have the right people on the bus? Not motivating them because they're self-determined, self-motivated. You have to worry about demotivating them. I don't want to confuse you with all this bus talk, but we're talking about the dealership. Think about your different departments. You have a leader and then you have the people that are within that department. Do you have the right leader? Let's talk about the internet department. Do you have the right internet director? What about the appointment setters or the internet coordinators? Are they the right people? Are you holding them to standards that they are meeting? Or are you just accepting anyone in that role? That is the worst thing that you could do is just to allow people to be within your department that can't get the job done. So how do you know if you have the right people? Well, the obvious answer would be if they are achieving the results that you expect of them. But it goes deeper than that. Even if they are meeting those results, they can actually be cancerous in different ways. What about their attitude? How are they working? Do they work independently? Do they work well with others? These are all important factors that are going to develop the culture of your environment, of your dealership. You want not only to have the right people as far as results go, but you also wanna have a positive attitude that's gonna spread. So here's what I suggest that you do. You need to get with all the managers at the dealership 
and decide together what the perfect candidate would look like. So in other words, I need you to either grab a piece of paper, grab your tablet, grab a computer, whatever you wanna keep your notes on. But you wanna go down and list all of the different characteristics and skills that you would think that the perfect candidate would possess. So in other words, what are your must-haves? They must do this, they must have this, those are your must-haves. So let's just say that you had five must-haves. Then the applicant, when you're reviewing resumes and candidates, you want to make sure that they have, they're, they're your must-haves. This is something that you're not going to settle um, having any other way. So they need to meet the five out of five items. But this is where you differentiate the good from the great. This is where you would have your, you would like to have. So let's just pretend that you had another five qualities that you would really like in addition to the must-haves. So you would be able to look at the candidate's resumes and identify between the five and the five, how many points that person is hitting. So of course they have to have the five must-haves. So let's just say that they had two would like to have in addition to the must-haves and that would make them a candidate of a seven. So then you would be able to talk internally, hey, Sean, today I found three sevens and guess what? I found a nine. Can you believe that? I found a nine and ooh, you know, I also found a bunch of threes. So, you know, today was a good day because we found that nine and a couple of sevens, but you know, we had to definitely eliminate a bunch because they were only threes. So you need to go by this score set so that when you are discussing it, it's really easy. You, can't, you don't have to say, oh, well, they did this and they did that and just list out like a laundry list of all the different things of why you think. And you're not going off of gut instinct either. You're actually going off of true qualities that you feel that are important to your organization. One of the most powerful lines in the book Good to Great is good is the enemy of great. Let's think about that for a second there. Good is the enemy of great. It is so easy to settle for good, because why not? Good's good, right? But good is not great, which is what you want to be. You want to continuously improve. You want to seek higher, seek more results, right? So good is the enemy of great. So be great. So my last tip for you, how are you going to be great? Continuously recruit. You always want to be recruiting. Don't wait until you have a flat tire to go buy a spare. Make sure that you have your spare one, two, three, and four ready to go for you when you need it. So continue to recruit, continue to look for the right candidates for your bus, your dealership. So please remember that people are not a liability. They're not an expense. I know that as far as your accountant's concerned, people are an expense, but they're really not. They're not a liability. The right people are actually your greatest asset. Thank you so much for watching this week's episode of Make Money Mondays. If you liked it, you're gonna love Bradley On Demand. Bradley On Demand is the most advanced virtual training, tracking, testing, and certification platform. What does that mean? It's an online university. And if you like this information here, we have hundreds and hundreds of advanced videos step-by-step -step on how to help you sell more cars more often and more profitably, so sign up now.